acne pomp eruption which is also known as drug induced acne the onset of this disease is sudden eruption of lesions etiology most common cause of eruption is use of topical and systemic steroids usually it is seen in bodybuilders who use anabolic steroids as a shortcut the other drugs are anti convulsants like carbamazepine phenytoin and phenobarbital anti tubercular drugs which are isoniazid and pyrazinamid also responsible for acne form eruption now let's talk about lesions lesions are present on trunk like chest and back and will never be on face as in acne vulgaris these lesions are monomorphic lesions with only in form of papules and there are no comedones see in this picture you can see the papular lesions on the chest there are no pustules and no comedones and all the lesions are similar in nature means these are monomorphic in nature not polymorphic as we seen in acne vulgaris in our last video let's take a look on another picture there are multiple monomorphic papules on the back the annular lesion in the center is a tinea for which topical steroids are wrongly applied by the patient now this is the last picture if you look at the picture at one go you will notice all the lesions are similar in nature these are monomorphic lesions now for the treatment you have to stop the steroids if you are using and rest of the treatment we have discussed in our last video okay in acne vulgaris now in the last let's take a look on the difference between acne form eruption and acne in acne form eruption lesions are monomorphic they are present on trunk and there will be no comedones and in case of acne the lesions are polymorphic lesions like comedones papules pustules and nodules and they will be present on face and trunk comedones are classical in acne first lithium abstain anomaly fetal goiter second valproate spina bifida limb defects autism spectrum disorder facial and cardiac anomalies coarctation of the aorta aortic stenosis pulmonary atresia ventricular septal defect third vitamin d supravalvular aortic stenosis fourth warfarin fetal bleeding hypoplastic nasal structures fifth statins vectoral vertebral anal cardiac tracheoesophageal fistula renal arterial limb defects sixth phenytoin hypoplastic phalanges cleft lip cleft palate microcephaly ventricular septal defect atrial septal defect coarctation of the aorta patent ductus arteriosus seventh penicillamine cutis laxus syndrome eighth isotretinoin craniofacial anomalies heart disease cns anomalies ninth progesterone masculinization of the female fetus tenth quinine abortion thrombocytopenia deafness eleventh topiramate cleft lip twelfth ace inhibitors and arbs hypoplasia of organs anuria irreversible renal failure thirteenth carbimazole and methimazole choinal atresia aplasia cutis tracheoesophageal fistula and fetal goiter fourteenth alcohol low iq baby fetal alcohol syndrome atrial septal defect ventricular septal defect 15th thalidomide phocomelia multiple defects of internal organs 16th methotrexate cleft palate hydrocephalus multiple defects fetal death 17th stilbostrol vaginal carcinoma in teenage female offspring 18th tetracyclines discolored and deformed teeth retarded bone growth 19th 
carbamazepine, neural tube defects, assorted abnormalities. 20th, indomethacin slash aspirin, premature closure of ductus arteriosus.